How to set goals in the workplace the right way. Setting measurable goals at work is a great way to get on the path to success. But is it possible to be too ambitious? In this video, I will outline some tips on how to set better and more achievable goals at work and how proper goal setting can help propel your career. Tip number one, grander vision and small manageable goals. If the vision is greater career success, one might set their goal as getting a promotion this year or finishing the big project way early before the deadline. This is great, but if there are no smaller goals in between, it can become much harder to stick to the plan. The best thing to do is jot down all the steps you'll be taking in a journal or task list month to month. Then once you have your small monthly goals set in place, break it down even further week by week, outlining the tasks, projects, and other related activities necessary to be able to get closer to your vision. Tip number two, you gotta say no sometimes. I can tell you from experience that there have been many times I've put off my smaller goals in order to help my coworkers with their tasks. Don't get me wrong, it is definitely a good trade in the office to be personable and helpful to the people you work with. I can also tell you from experience that being a yes person to all your coworkers can easily derail you from completing your work. As difficult as it may be, you shouldn't be afraid to say no if you feel that you are being constantly strayed away from your work. You can instead offer to help your coworkers at a time that best suits the both of you, when your tasks have been done for the day or when you have some downtime. Tip number three, patience pays off. Even with all the distractions at bay and a laser targeted focus on small manageable goals, there can be a tendency to become impatient. People want to accomplish their goals now. They don't want to put in the time or the repetitious work it actually takes in order to get to that point. And they also don't want the uncertainty that after all that work, it might not pay off. The best, albeit the most difficult thing to do as you set smaller goals, is diligence. As mundane as it may be to complete seemingly insignificant goals week after week can surprisingly add up after a few months. Each completed goal, no matter how small, should be seen as a success. What are some of your goals for 2018? Write them down in the comment section down below and show me some love by hitting subscribe, liking the video, and sharing with your friends. Also, tick that bell icon to be notified when a new video goes live. Thanks for watching, and until next time friends, be well, and always thrive on repeat.